in this video, we're going to be going over the alarm monitoring portion of the Vanel OnGuard software. So to start, let's go to our Start menu, select All Programs. We're going to go to the OnGuard folder and then open Alarm Monitoring. This is the front page of Alarm Monitoring. You'll see over here in our System Status tree, these are all the controllers that are in this system. You'll see the top one has a red X. This means that the system cannot communicate with our comm server, so we're not able to talk to the panel. You'll also see this one has a black X. That means we have this panel marked offline in the software, so we won't be able to talk to that panel either. So the one we're going to be working on is this middle panel. As you can see, there's no X, so this controller is online right now. So let's drill down in our online controller. You'll see that there's a list of all the readers that are programmed into the system. You'll see the vast majority of them are offline. However, we do have a few here that look like they're reporting in. So the first thing we're going to go over is how to unlock and lock doors manually through the alarm monitoring software. So let's select this reader here. We're going to go ahead and right click it. And we're going to go to reader access modes. So as you can see on this page, there's a, we have a lot of options here. Right now, the reader is set to card only. So this means that the door will only unlock if a valid badge is presented to it. So let's say the customer wants to have the doors open for an event. So they don't want everybody to have to read their badge when they come in the door. So let's go ahead and select unlocked. As you can see, the, six, the request was successfully sent. And you can also see in this side, uh, this is a live trace of all events happening in the software currently. You can see the door go unlocked. So let's go back to there, and we're going to go back to reader access modes. Now there's a few other options here. We can also select the door to facility code only. This would set the door so that anybody with the same facility code on their badge is able to open the door, no matter whether their specific badge number has been programmed into the system. So let's select that one. As you can see, the request successfully sent, and we also got another event in our live monitoring here. So let's go ahead and set that door back to card only. And again, that will make the door work, so only on a valid card read on it with a valid access level. And then again, we'll go ahead and set it to locked. Now locked, will, the door will not open no matter if you have access to it or not. It's similar to a lockdown mode. So we kind of briefly talked about the events coming in live over here. Well, it's also possible to go back in time and see events as they occurred on any day that the sense the system has been active. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, we can either, if you know which controller or reader specifically you want to trace, you can right click on the reader and hit trace. Or if you want to do a trace of the whole system, you can come up to the top and select trace and we can do controller. Now, I don't want to do a live trace, so I'm going to uncheck this box, and I'm going to do a perform historical trace. And then I'm going to select a date range, so let's go all the way back to the beginning of the month. So this will perform a trace of every event on the system from July 1st to July 21st. Let's hit OK. So as you can see, we've got a lot of events in here. You can scroll down just to see all of them. You also can assort the events by time and date. You can sort it by the description of the alarm. So if you're looking like only for access granted, only for held open, you can sort it by that as well. Um, you can also sort it by which reader it came in on. So if you're looking for just events on a specific door. So let's scroll down here. We'll go over some common messages you might see. Uh, you'll see things like access granted, um, which just means that the person was read their badge, uh, went through the door, and the door closed behind them. Um, you'll also see things like granted no entry. Uh, that means that the person had valid access, uh, represented their badge to the reader, and it granted them access. However, they did not open the door. You'll see things like invalid badge. Um, that means that the badge format that was used is not correct or not properly configured within the software. You'll also see things like reader mode card only, reader mode unlocked, or reader mode locked, unlike we went over previously. 
Um, that is just the reader states changing in the software, um, and that can happen either manually or by schedule. You typically would also see access denied events. Um, the access denied could be for many reasons, um, such as wrong access level, or they could have a time restriction that doesn't allow them in at that specific time. That would also appear on this screen.